So let's waste no time. I'm starting with freshly washed, stretched hair. And I'm just puffing up my afro. You're gonna need a rat tail comb to make a separation going straight down the middle of your head. I try to get it as straight as possible, but I can't really see at the back. So that's pretty much as straight as it's gonna get. You wanna put one half away while you work on the other half. So I'm just getting some got to be glued gel. This is the edge control gel. It's so good, you guys, you have to get it. Not the styling gel, the edge control gel. It's called ultra glued styling gel for edges. Make sure you get that one. And it does exactly what it says on the tin. It is styling gel for edges. It secures those babies down. <laughs> so I pop it on all around. And then I get my hairbrush and brush those edges back to try and sleek my 4C goodness into a ponytail. Once I'm satisfied with that, I go ahead and put the ponytail in. You also want to get yourself some got to be glued free spray to set those edges and to set the bun so that you get no flyaways. Once I'm happy with it, then I get my blow dryer and I dry it out to make sure that everything stays. We're just making sure everything sets, okay? That's what this step is. I'm using a toothbrush. I do have an edge brush, but I don't know where it is. So I'm using my edge brush toothbrush. Get a clean toothbrush, okay, to make your edge brush. Don't use an old toothbrush. And then I get my silk scarf or my ninja bandana, as I'll forever call it now. And I wrap the edges. While I'm waiting for that to set, I'm gonna put the buns because we have to make the buns, right? So this is from Amazon. It's just a ponytail, a drawstring ponytail. It has two clips on either side so you can secure it onto your little bun. And then you pull the drawstring ponytail and twist it round your bun to secure it. And then I just secure that with a hairpin. So you're gonna need two of these. And it was really good. It's only 17 pounds, I think, from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Now time for the makeup. I'm starting with Benefit Cosmetics Cabral Eyebrow Pomade. I use it to shape my brows and give some definition because I have the most serious struggle brows ever. And then I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. I love this stuff. It smells so good, you guys. I got it when it first came out, but I didn't make a big fuss about it. It feels so good on the skin, and you can see that it just makes you look hydrated, which is exactly what it says on the tin, okay? And I'm going to be using the new foundation that came out with it as well. It just makes your skin look so succulent. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight and contour my face. I just realized that most of the face products I'm using are actually from Fenty Beauty. <laughs> I'll put them in the description bar for you guys. It wasn't planned, it just kind of happened that way. Because I love them, they're really good. Next up, I'm going to be using some moisturizing setting spray from Grace and Stella. I pop that onto my brush so that I can move the products around more easily on my face. And then I'm going to be using my setting powder from Givenchy. It is the best setting powder ever. Better than the Ben Eye, better than Laura Mercier. It's just the best ever. Perfect for my skin tone. For my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Evolve palette from Beauty Bay. They make three of these palettes and they're amazing for beginners because they are kind of like paint by numbers. So along the top row, it tells you the order in which you should go. And at the columns, it tells you where to put the eyeshadows. For that highlight color, I'm using my Nubian 2 from Juvia's Place. The colors in this palette are super pigmented, so you don't need a lot. I'm just following that up with a winged line this is from MAC. And then I'm going to add my highlight. The highlight is Fenty Beauty Kilowatt. On my lips, I'm using Chestnut Pencil from MAC. And everybody always asks me about this lipstick. I wore it in my last two videos. It is Coco by Chanel. In the middle, I'm using a nude from MAC. I will put the link to that and the name in the description because I've forgotten right now. And on top, I'm putting the Gloss Bomb lip gloss. All that's left for me to do now is pop on my lashes. These are just generic brand lashes. I really don't know the name. And that's it, you guys. That's pretty much it for my look. So now I'm going back to the hair. I'm checking on that hairline. It looks all good to me. All I've got to do now is just make sure that the makeup is blended into the edges, okay? Because you don't want to have a crease. I've seen some girls forget to contour their forehead once they've taken off that silk scarf. You just can't do that. And for the piston resistance of this look, Okay, guys, 
it's flowers real flowers these are hydrangeas and you don't need a whole bouquet but i just bought them because you can't buy a single hydrangeas <laughs> Cut off what you need from the flowers. You can choose any colors that you want. Hydrangeas come in loads of different colors as well. I chose blue this time to go with my Instagram theme. And I would also suggest getting um, some different types of flowers as well, not just one type so that you can have some variety and it will look much cuter. Now to secure the flowers in place because they won't stay on their own, you're gonna need to get some hairpins and put the flowers in your hair by fastening the hairpins to the stems of the flowers okay i hope that makes sense here's a close-up so you can see what i mean i've put the hairpin onto the stem of the flower and i'm using that to secure it into the hair once you get the hang of it just place the flowers any which way that you want and then we are all done put on your earrings get to styling i didn't do anything to the back because i thought it looked cuter that way but you can go ahead and do the back if you want to but that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. Till next time. See you later. Mwah.